between boxers Italy, from Wales Mario and Mauritius just Rizzardo. moments away. Scoring this one, our judges First from Fiji, Canada, Sri Lanka, Boxing India the and Mongolia. And representing our referee Wales. is Mia Rizzardo of Italy. Johan Croft! Well, here comes Johan Croft, 20 years of age from Cardigan in West Wales. And what a summer this young man has had. Two European continental silver medals this summer. Came away with a bronze at 67 kilograms in the senior championships and prior to that in the under 22 edition of the continental event it was a silver medal finish at 67 kilogram welterweight winning three contests out of four and only losing and his opponent to the formidable the yuri zakariev mauritius jean jordi vadamudu to Terian of denmark a very skillful operator indeed his opponent approaching the boxing ring is Jean Jordi Vadamutu, preparing for his second bout of Birmingham 2022 after prevailing on a 3 2 split decision victory over the man from Kiribati. It was a very close contest. Hard fought in rounds two and three after this man won the first round unanimously and then was dragged into a contest. An experienced individual in his second Commonwealth Games, having boxed. 56 kilograms in the Gold Coast edition four years ago. This is a round of 16. Here he is to train for his second bout. Contest, over here three, in the three round of 16. Rounds. Introducing to you first in the red corner, representing Wales, Johan Croft. And in the blue corner, representing Mauritius, John. Jordi Vadamutu. Okay, put your right, no holding, no low blow. Listen to me. Shake your hands. So we're underway. Action in the round of 16 in the men's 67 kilogram welterweight tournament. 17 boxers make up the welterweight bracket. And so Jean Jordi Vadamutu was the only man who competed in the round of 32. Johan Croft, the Southpaw wearing red, received a bye through to this second preliminary round. He's a Southpaw who enjoys a height and reach advantage, and he just landed a good right jab there. But a right hand out of the orthodox stance came back from. Vadamutu. So he's going to have to find a way inside the reach advantage that Croft enjoys. Vadamutu has a good opening contest for Arnold. He's got that, he had the height and reach over his opponent, but here it's a different kettle of fish. He's in against a tall southpaw who's got speed and he's very accurate indeed, is Croft. So a different um, problem. Set of problems, should I say, for Vadimutu. He's got to close that gap down. But look at Croft there, counter punching, very good indeed. If you make a mistake against Croft, he'll punish you. And straight away, Vadimutu is finding, closing that gap, finding his range, the problem here. Left jab attempted to the body from Vadimutu. Straight shot response from Croft. Oh, now that's a bit of an elbow from Vadimutu, it looked like. Not picked up by the referee. As the two men locked horns, I think Vadimutu just appeared to swing, swing his elbow backwards a little bit. Right hand was a nice shot from Vadimutu, but look at that for a backhand response from Croft. Beautiful left hook sunk into the belt line of the man in blue. Well, there you go. There's an example there. Vadimutu throwing shots, inaccurate, missing the target. And, and Croft has caught him with not only shots to the head, but to the body as well. Good uh, punch picking from the Welshman. And again, what a lovely counter that was. So excellent work from the man in red. He's using that backhand terrifically. Is Croft scoring to both head and body? Not fully extending it on the cross. That shooting through and whipping in a long bolo shot to the pit of his opponent's stomach. And near the same shot once again. May have drifted low. But terrific punch picking 
from Johan Croft through the first two and a half minutes of this opening round. And everything's behind that jab, you see, so he's measuring the target with that punch, that lead hand there, look. That just keeps his man off balance and guessing, and then he picks him off with a shot like that. So, good, well, um, disciplined boxing from Johan Croft. Counter left hand again after Vadimutu was off the mark with his own backhand. And here's a counter once more, but the left right attempted out of the south force stance by Croft were inaccurate. But there you can just see him waiting to trigger those counters. There he led off with the right jab and did find the range. It's a brilliant first round of boxing. Remember, it's day five, it's the first tournament for Croft. Let's listen in to Colin Jones. Yeah, Colin Jones, very happy with his boxer there, but some really good um, counter punching from Croft. Sits back, brings his opponent over the front foot and brings him onto shots like that, but he'll also lead with his jab, so everything's off that punch, that lead hand. Vadimutu is struggling here, Ronald, with the distance, and when he makes the mistakes, he's getting punished. So let's take a look at the scores. Two 10-8 scores returned. But the judges from Fiji and India, a clean sweep of the cards for Johan Croft. And this is opening bout to Birmingham 2022. To the second round we go. Johan Croft, one of nine boxers on the Welsh team, a six man, three women, and one of those men is his identical twin brother, Garen, who's boxing for Wales in the 71 kilogram light middleweight division. We'll see him in action later on today. But here and now, Johan Croft is boxing very well indeed. And to his credit, jean Jordi Vadimutu has come out and tried to up the tempo, looking to work away to the body on the inside. But in his opening contest, Richie, good right hand landed by Vadimutu. Vadimutu's gas tank did appear to deplete rather rapidly the deep we got into the contest. How will his, how will his conditioning stand up here? He continues to get picked off as he was in the first round. Yeah, he's up the tempo here, Vadimutu, because he's been told that he, he's well behind, so he's got to do something different. One of his problems is because he's got a slightly wide stance, then he's concentrating on his right hand, and again, there's just an increase in distance to hit the southpaw who sits back occasionally and that punch has just got to travel a few inches extra and that's just enough for Croft to sense the danger and act accordingly, bring him onto a counter or whatever, it just gets out of the way. So Vadimutu wants to land that right hand, that's his dangerous shot, but he's got to travel a long way to hit the target. So Vadimutu with the increase in intensity. Not as peripheral a figure in this round to this point as he was in the first, but he's not really having much success either. But he is keeping Croft occupied and proving more difficult to tag cleanly. Vadimutu, despite his increasing work rate, you can see he's fall short. He was countered there by a nice right hook. The left hand which preceded it was off the mark, but the final shot of the two-shot combination right on the money from Johan Croft. Yeah, there was an example of that right hand just falling short and Croft very sensible and again just adjusts his feet and brings him onto the shot so he senses the danger you see he's a good counter puncher is Croft he'll also work with the jab but again just an adjustment with the feet brings his opponent over that front foot and then catches him nice right hand to the chest landed by Vadimutu he played counter puncher on that occasion yeah and another fault that Vadimutu's got though Ronald occasionally when he throws that right hand, he knows, it, he, he, he senses that it's falling short and he'll bring the right leg round. That's when he becomes square on and he walks on to big punches like that one there. So Vadimutu wrapping up his man on the inside rather than looking to work away. Croft reciprocating in that regard, resulting in an untidy tangle. Good left hand to the chest from Croft, looking for the right jab as he backs up Vadimutu towards his own corner and ends the round with a stiff left hand out of that south force stance. Now Vadimutu, to his credit, did try to do something different. I don't think he'll face any 10-8 scores this time, but he didn't win the round either. At least not for my money. 
Making basic mistakes and getting countered. That a move to look four short there, and then gets caught with a, a clipping hook at the end. But that was an example of throwing the shot from too far out, falling short, and then getting caught with the counter. Good work from Croft. But what I like about Johan Croft also, he works well with his jab, sets it up. Colin Jones will be pleased. So 10-9 across the board for Johan Croft. Two rounds in the book. Both of them swept unanimously for the Welsh boxer. Nice left, right landed by Vadimutu. Perhaps his best shot of the entire contest with that backhand that landed. He needs a massive final round to get back to parity here. But look at how Croft is measuring his man with that south four left. Very good punch picking indeed. So patient, so precise. And Vadimutu will be dealing with the added pressure knowing that if he makes a mistake, he's likely to be counted effectively and accurately by the man in red. You know, the sense of urgency is definitely with Vadimutu. Now he knows he's behind. Again, not really using his lead hand. Got to use that a little bit more, like that shot there, and set up that backhand. But he knows he's got to get closer to his opponent. And he's realised now if he, if he misses the target like that, he gets caught every time. So has to improve his accuracy. And you generally do that, Ronald, with working more with your lead hand to set up that backhand, the more powerful shot. Both men fainting just beyond punching range. That left cross attempted by Croft. Bought applause from the crowd. There's a nice right hand success by Vadimutu. Look for the same shot again, but was countered by a long left cross, cross from Croft. Nice right hand to the body driven in by Vadimutu, who's altogether busier in this round. Look for the same shot once again, and he's having success both upstairs and downstairs. Nice left jab landed by Vadimutu. Now, where was this type of intensity earlier on in the contest, particularly in the first round, where he was subjected to two scorecards of 10-8? Such was the dominance of Johan Croft. Right hand success once again from Vadimutu, countered by a right jab by Croft. Croft just easing down, though, Ronald. Here you can just see it's about management time. Knows he's well ahead and sensibly. Um, He's just toned it down a little bit here as Croft. But fair play to Vadimutu, yeah, he's boxing with more urgency and he's had more success in this round. But as you say, he needs a massive last round, doesn't he, to, to win the contest. 20 points to 18 on three of the five cards, 20 points to 17 on the other two, after those judges returned a 10-8 verdict at the conclusion of round number one. So Vadimutu has up the ante in this the third and final round but short of landing a single shot ko now he's going to be eliminated in a round of 16 here in the welterweight tournament johan croft with a very impressive commonwealth games debut even more so when you consider that it's the fifth day of the commonwealth games and he's had to wait this amount of time to open his account here on the commonwealth game stage well there's taylor bevan his teammate who has been so impressive up at 80 kilograms light heavyweight getting both of his oppo opponents out of there inside the distance en route to the quarterfinals and he will be pleased with the performance produced by Johan Croft on his Commonwealth Games debut. Most definitely and obviously it can be a little bit frustrating when you're watching your teammates box not once but twice and being successful but they're Johan Croft has opened his account with the Ladies great Ladies and gentlemen, your winner via unanimous decision. In the red corner, representing Wales, So Johan there's confirmation Croft. of a unanimous points decision victory for Johan Croft over Jean-Jordi Vadamutu, the two-time Commonwealth Games participants eliminated in the round of 16. But he did increase his work rate and intensity in the third and final round but the 2017 african continental championships gold medalist down at 56 kilograms eliminated here 
in the second preliminary round. And it's Johan Cruyff, the reigning European Championship bronze medalist, the reigning European Under-22 Championship silver medalist, who goes through to the quarter-final stage. Very good display. Great boxing from Johan Croft there. Boxed superbly well. Use his height and reach against a, a, a very fast and uh, an opponent who'd had a, a victory in this tournament, but uh, he was second best here at Madamutu because Croft just outboxed him, counterpunched him, 